On You Shine, I Shine, we have the multi-talented, multifaceted, multi-entertaining Daniel Kalua with us today. How are you doing, Daniel? Alright, how are you, man? Yeah, yeah you, it's, it's a good look. It's a it's good all look. Right. It's all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. So yeah, you know what? You're one of the most amazing young men I've ever met. Wow. Because you're so talented, humble, and hardworking. Do you hear me? All of those things go to making up. Daniel, yeah. so I want to know all about you because I know that you're a writer. You wrote the first episode for Skins. A few epi- is it quite a few episodes for Skins? Yeah, two episodes. You, you act in, um, you acted in Skins, yeah. Psychoville, various doc- Doctor Who, all those amazing series that we see on television, and you've done a film as well. So, how, how, how does this happen? How did you do it? How did you get into it? I uh, do, 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 I did that. 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 And then it just happened. And then, um, <laughs> just moving. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I basically, I wrote my first play when I was nine, and it's based on Keenan and Kel, the guy. Oh, and, like, yeah, back in the kid. day, Keenan yeah, and yeah, Kel. Yeah, yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. and then it won a competition, and it got performed at Hampton Theatre. And then, uh, they told me to keep on writing, and I was like, no, I've done that. And then, it continued. I, I just basically did my own thing. Cause, cause I was just like I wanted to be a kid. I wanted to have yeah. fun. I wanted to play football. And then, uh, and then, and then, and then, um, and then, I think some of the teachers said to my mum, like, I, cause I was a bit of a busy kid at school, yeah. and like they would say to my mum, like, he should get into acting. He's like, I can't bring down a little uh, bit to release that kind of energy. So she enrolled me to Anna Share, and it was like a four year waiting list. So I got in there when I was thirteen. And it's really daunting because Anna Share is all improv. Yeah. So I never really touched the script till I was like until I had my first job, like yeah. when I was sixteen. Um, I think there was a situation where Anna Share establishment or whatever they were trying to take over was clashing and then a lot of kids that were there which is really sad that would have been so basically like the older generation to us is like Reggie Yates and Natalie Cassidy mm-hmm. and, and Joe Swash and Adam Beaton and all these people that are doing their thing and even though they're not actors they're presenters now do you know what I mean and, and like a lot of kids that we could have become something are now not going to mm-hmm. because of just their beef upstairs Politics. Yeah, I wasn't getting parts, so I was just like, this is long, like, I, I was like, I just wanted to work, so basically what I did, I went to Hampstead Theatre again. Can I just stop you there? You wanted to work, do you hear that? That's, that's the most important thing, you have to have passion and you want yeah. to work. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know, because the way it is, you see people that were in my class, because I had lots of, like, had Skandar, who was in um, Narnia, yeah. and then they had Charlie, well, I still talk to Charlie, he's in the EastEnders, and like, and then, uh, and then, I was like, wait, hold on, they're in my class and they're on TV. I was like, I don't want to get there. What about me? What about me? Yeah, what about me? <laughs> Hello. What about me? I can do this. <laughs> so I went to Hampton Theatre. It was like running a scheme there and I started writing plays and putting myself in. And then uh, from that, I was getting a CV as well as getting experience as well as, um, and then people, they started really realising that I was a writer. I didn't realise that I was a writer. I was just, was just doing it. Mm. And I was improv, it was mostly improv. Oh, cool. And then they started call, calling me a writer. I was like, what? Well, no, no, I'm not that. My name's Daniel. Mm. <laughs> and, then, and, I, and, then, and, then, and then I like, am Daniel. I am Daniel. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> who would you like to act with? Who would who would be like? Oh my God. Who? Yeah. That's a lot of people. Man. All um, right, name them. Will Smith. Man. Will Smith would be like one of them ones where like, bro, like, like <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, nah, nah, because you know what it is? It's not because he's an amazing actor. Because I don't think he's that amazing. I think there's better actors. I'm not really lying. I'm not, it's just that what he represents, like, and what he represent, re- represented to me when I was young, man, growing up. Right, tell me, what are, what's the most interesting and fun production that you've done, and who have you enjoyed working with? Interesting and fun production. Because it's been a, pl- a, a plethora of people that you've worked with. Yeah. Mm-mm. Skins was a bit mad. Skins was like, because he was all 17, bro, and he's like, mm. and we was doing Bristol in like four class hotels, like four star in that. Just a bit emotional, man. It was just, <laughs> it just got a bit of. And then when it came out, and then we went back to do the second series, like madness. Wow. When I did Psychoville with Steve Templeton and and Day, and then I did Doctor Who, and then um, not really. And then I did FM with Chris O'Dowd, and there was just people that just their style was so out there. And you're like, wow, I never ever thought of it like that. Wow. And then, and it just it influences you without you even realizing yeah. and it, all of it makes you better i bet your mum 
she is quite. She's nice. She's nice. She won't admit though. She won't admit. I'm really. She's yeah. one of those. Yeah, she's nice. Yes, she's son, she's you cool. have to work harder. Yeah, no, no. She, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's on the phone when she's calling you, Gambit. Yeah. She's, she's on like, the high uh, phone. My son. Yeah, no, she's showing up. My son is wonderful. <laughs> you should see him. He's taking all the good words. <laughs> but um, no, she pushes me. Good. It's good. It's good because it's like you don't ever want to feel like you've made it because I don't. I don't think I have. Because it's like people try to tell you that. Especially in this country, they say, oh yeah, dude, we've got a lot of success. I'm like, no, nah, shut up. Because <laughs> then what you're saying is, this is it. This is, yeah, this is, is the this, end. this is all I can do. Mm. Get loads of fan mail and stuff. It's like really, really weird. Daniel, I love you. Will you marry me? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. It's just okay. like, Daniel, sign this, please. Oh, okay. That's uh, alright. Yeah, yeah, it's That's cool. So it's cool. But it's weird, though. It's weird that. Yeah, I find it weird. I find it weird that people know who I am. Because I'm just go about my business and I don't really mm. watch that. I don't really do the fame kind of PR game like because I just want to work. Yeah. Top tips is um, uh, work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard, and be original and uh, stand out. That's another thing as well. Stand out because what it, it's another thing as well. Like you could be the best actor in the world, but if your style doesn't stand out, when you go into an audition, don't forget. Because like I've been very lucky, been given like certain opportunities and certain. Um, chances but then I reckon those chances wouldn't have pushed me further if I never worked hard when they gave me that chance or I wasn't ready so always be ready build yourself in a way where you're different to everyone else that's out there so basically what you're bringing to the table no one else can bring thank you Daniel and that is why we have him here hard-working humble handsome and just a wonderful wonderful young man I wish you the best in your future because when you shine